And welcome to Auburndale High School, where rain or shine, it's always a great day in the land of blue and gold. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the national anthem. seated and welcome to the stage our senior class parliamentarian Mason Allen Green. He will lead us with the introduction of guests. Fellow graduate friends, faculty, family, and special guests, welcome to the commencement ceremony of the class of 2018. We, the graduates of Auburndale High School, are so fortunate to have your love and support. We are especially blessed to have so many members of the community here sharing the stage with us this morning. Such commitment and partnerships have been invaluable to our success. We ask for your cooperation in making this formal ceremony a memorable occasion for everyone. Your graduate probably reminded you that air horns and other artificial noisemakers are not appropriate for this ceremony. Please do not embarrass your graduate by using these items. In the past, we have found that artificial noisemakers used during the ceremony have often caused some parents to miss the moment that their child's name is being called, and that is why Auburndale High School is steeped in tradition. We take pride in conducting a formal graduation ceremony. Please help us maintain the integrity and dignity that this type of ceremony demands. On behalf of my classmates and myself, I would like to thank all of our friends and family for coming this evening. We wouldn't have made it without you. At this time, please welcome Ms. Jennifer Mills, who will introduce all of our honored guests. Thank you, Mason. And once again, welcome to Auburndale High School. I would like to take a moment to acknowledge and thank the dignitaries present with us on the stage today. First, we have the principal of Auburndale High School, Mr. John Hill. We also are honored to have with us tonight the Superintendent of Polk County Public Schools, Mrs. Jacqueline Bird. <laughs> Polk County School Board District 7 board member, the Honorable Tim Harris. <laughs> the Honorable Billy Townsend, board member, District 1. The Honorable Sarah Reynolds, board member, District 4. The Honorable Kay Fields, board member, District 5. Mark Hutek, the acting deputy superintendent. Dr. Michael Aikes, associate superintendent. Tedra Porteous, associate superintendent. Tammy Dawson, Regional Assistant Superintendent. Yeah. Deborah Henderson, Regional Assistant Superintendent. 
Jason Pitts, Senior Director of Finance. DJ Dines, Director of Information Services. Don Robertson, Director of Grants and Acquisitions. Ty Bruno, Principal of Southwest Middle School and future Principal of Auburndale High School. The Mayor of Auburndale, Tom Pospical. Also on the stage, Ishmael Portillo, Assistant Principal of Auburndale High School. Tyrone Wilder, Assistant Principal to Auburndale High School. Holly Ryan, Assistant Principal to Auburndale High School. Cheryl Parada, Auburndale High School Senior Counselor. Jessica Sierra, Auburndale High School Counselor. Auburndale's College and Career Specialist, Sarah Cook. And your senior class sponsor, Allison Marazzi. Seated behind the graduates, Pam Lancaster, Dean of Students, Athletic Director. Jocelyn Giles, Dean of Students. Richard Davis, Auburndale High School Counselor. Jordan Howes, Auburndale High School Counselor. And the fabulous faculty of Auburndale High School. And I'm Jen Mills, the Assistant Principal of Curriculum for Auburndale High School. Please welcome, thank you, thank you, and welcome dignitaries, and thank you faculty and staff. You're very appreciated, obviously, by this crowd. Please welcome Haley Fawner, the National Honor Society President, to the stage. Good evening, everyone. My name is Haley Fawner, as Ms. Mills said, and I was the National Honor Society President and Senior Class Vice President. I moved to this beautiful city the summer before my sophomore year. I would like to start by saying thank you. Thank you to my mom and dad, Allie, Josh, Nick, family, friends, teachers, mentors, and the wonderful city of Auburndale. All of you have impacted my life for the better. Something I have learned over the past 17 years of my life is that everything happens for a reason. My life, excuse me, my family and I moved to Auburndale for a reason. I'm a part of the Auburndale High School class of 2018 for a reason. We without a doubt impact each other. We help each other and on occasion knock each other down, but it is all a part of the journey and the making of who we are. The events of our lives teach us lessons that give us the power to change the world. So I wish to challenge the class of 2018. Be honest, be humble, be passionate, care for others, and do what is right even when it is not the popular thing to do. I thank God every day for the good and the bad things in my life because they have all contributed to who I am. Fellow graduates, here are some words of wisdom from Marilyn Monroe. I believe everything happens for a reason. Sometimes good things have to fall apart so better things can come together. We are truly, we are incredibly lucky to live in a city and go to a school where the people truly love us and support us. As Mr. Hill says every day, we absolutely unequivocally love our hounds. Thank you, class of 2018. Thank you, Haley. And now, please welcome to the stage our senior class president, Victor Ross Persichetti. Class of 2018, and yes, developing a speech for this monumental occasion has been tougher than the journey of high school, which is why I'm going to be a man of few words this evening. You're welcome, graduates. The moment we've been waiting for is minutes away, so I'm not going to bore you with endless thank yous, but I would be remiss if I did not thank my family. Thank you, Mom, Dad, Ryan, Nick, Joseph, and Stephanie. 
I'd like to take the remainder of this time to reflect on the legacy of the class of 2018. It has been an honor serving as your president and overseeing the accomplishments of this amazing graduating class. Auburndale seniors have collectively earned a record-breaking $7 million in scholarships, contributed over 20,000 community service hours, complete, competed for 12 different athletic district titles, through the Imperial Sound marked an incredible number of superiors, won three Silver Garland Awards with no other school having more than one, earned several hundred medical, FFA, industry, and technology certifications through our amazing programs, designed the new Polk County Public Schools brand for the next 50 years, have a record number of students entering the armed forces and are attending some of the most prestigious institutions in the country. And most of all, dedicated a monument to the campus of AHS. I am extremely proud to have served such an amazing class and I know my campaign promised I, but we made Auburndale great again. I said it before and I'll say it again. Mr. Hill really did save the best for last. Thank you. Thank you, Ross. At this time, please welcome again the AHS Chorus, who will sing for us, This Is Me, from The Greatest Showman, arranged by Mac Huff.
Good evening. It is my great honor and privilege to introduce to you the valedictorian of the class of 2018. This young man has earned a weighted GPA of 4.73. He will attend Harvard University while he will major in economics. Please help me congratulate and welcome him to the podium, Tariq Kamani Graham. Good evening, faculty, friends, and family. Most of all, good evening to the graduates. We finally made it. I am very excited to be speaking to you all on what is our farewell from the halls of Auburndale High. I remember our very first freshman incentive day. Over 500 children lined the field, with chair after chair staring back at us. We sat down to see a slip of paper that required our signature. It was a promise to ourselves that we would work hard, graduate, and be sitting in these seats again in May of 2018. Now that our time is here, I look back and wonder where the time has gone. All the nights spent stressing over school, countless practices, after school meetings, and every interaction in between has led us to this day. Leading up to this week, I was eager to leave the past behind and move on to different challenges. But now I stand here feeling quite nostalgic. Throughout my whole life, I grew up hearing about those who came before me, particularly my two older brothers. I often found myself face to face, face to face with remarks along the lines of, you only made it because of them. At the time, statements like those served as fuel for me to work hard and prove those people wrong. I wanted badly to distance myself from the perceived shadow that was casted on me by my siblings. However, as I look back, I realized that the people I wanted to prove wrong were right, although not in the way that they thought. I am who I am today because of who they are right now. Their influences and examples they set for me have been imperative to my success. Those two shoulders were not the only ones I was standing on. I realized that I was standing on the shoulders of so many who had come before me. My father and mother, Donovan and Stacy, who made the ultimate sacrifice by moving to America and giving my brothers and I a world of opportunity. As the prospect of moving away to Boston for college nears, it puts into perspective how scary it must have been to move to a foreign country with barely any money to your name and hungry mouths to feed. No amount of thank yous, money, or favors could ever repay you guys for what you've done for me. So many uncles, aunts, cousins, friends, teachers, neighbors, and random people in between, many of who are here today, have all contributed to the person that I am. I stand on these shoulders as I am here speaking to you. I stand on the shoulders of the Rude Boys, who have been my brothers, literally and figuratively. I stand on the shoulders of my older brother, Terrell, who has been the biggest key in my success. I stand on the sh shoulders of CG, my grandfather, who succeeded against all odds in the countryside of Jamaica. I stand on the shoulders of Vasco, who I know would be so happy to see all that his grandchildren have achieved. I stand on the shoulders of Miss Katrin, my last living grandparent, and the woman who always brings me back to my roots every time I see her. Finally, I stand on the shoulders of Veronica, the woman who unconventionally started me on the path to education. She was not my first teacher like she was for, my grand for her other grandchildren, but her constant prodding and shared battles are a big reason as to who I am today. As Cesar Chavez once said, we cannot seek achievement for ourselves and forget about progress and prosperity for our community. Our ambitions must be broad enough to include the aspirations and needs of others for their sakes and for our own. As we stand here on the precipice of adulthood, it is a great time to reflect. Reflect on the success we've had and look forward to successes we anticipate. However, we must not ever fool ourselves and fall into the trap of thinking that we are self-made and have done all that we have by ourselves. All of us here are standing on the foundation that someone has set for us. If we think we are not, we risk shutting out a community of people who have been so integral to our success and who will have active roles to play as we move forward. However, they can only play an active role if we let them. Hold on to the people you love and those who have been with you. Your community is your strength. Thank you, Auburndale class of 2018. We made it. Wakanda forever. It is my great honor and privilege to introduce to you the salutatorian of the class of 2018. This young lady has earned a weighted GPA of 4.646. She will attend the U.S. Naval Academy where she will major in computer science and computer engineering. Please help me congratulate and welcome her to the podium, 
Abigail Rose Rausch. Good evening, honored graduates, distinguished guests, loving families, and friends. I am Abigail Rausch, and it is my privilege to speak to you this evening as the Arbondale High School Student Body President and Salutatorian. For those who know me, you are probably a little shocked right now, because I am without a doubt the type of person that would get in front of you and kind of wing it. So acknowledging the fact that I actually prepared something to say is a little bit surprising and comes to it with a good amount of pressure. Please understand, this type of speech comes with a large amount of unspoken expectation. I am expected to create some inspiring speech about the future that can possibly bring momentous drive and hope, but the truth is, in my personal opinion, we are all somewhat clueless about the future, including those who think they have it all mapped out. No graduate sitting in the seats in front of me, or for the matter many people sitting in the stands, truly know what's going to happen in five to ten years from now, or even tomorrow. So to be asked to make a speech that will inspire us for tomorrow or the future seems to be an impossible task. But to make a speech that inspires us for today is my goal. The word today has five different letters that each hold their own individuality, but work together to create a word that, helps that holds opportunity and possibility. And each letter presents its own challenge. Today starts with the letter T because it holds one of the most important attributes that we all should aim to, obt all should aim to obtain, teamwork. Ever since the beginning of our AHS journey, we have found a way to work together. This is how we strive, inspired greatness, and today sit here as graduates. It is how we, as a class, competed in 12 different districts, sporting champions, earned dozens of industry and medical certifications, and generated over $7 million in scholarships. These accomplishments lead me to argue that if Arbonne High School can find a way to coexist and work together as a team, despite our vast difference in social economic levels, ethnicities, and even language barriers, are we not a shining microism of the society that we are about to enter as graduates? As graduates, we are entering into one of the most influential part of our lives, a time where we get to decide who we want to be for ourselves and for those we care about. Today starts now. It starts when we decide to put aside differences, or differences of beliefs and opinions to become a team who fight for ourselves, our community, and for society of harmony and tolerance. The second, the second letter of today is an O. The letter O contains our optimism. We have had days where we wake up in the morning and every possible thing that can go wrong has gone wrong. And you get the feeling that there's no winning. It's challenging with these days seem to come around day after day because it's overwhelming and it becomes too easy to run and hide. I personally can't remember the number of days I wanted to climb into a hole and avoid another jam-packed day consisting of a mile run with Mass Sergeant, uh, Bohawk, Mirazi, or Mr. Ball Test, followed by two, two hour practices with Coach Jones, some type of sport practice, and then ending with SGA. How, however, I learned that you have to maintain your optimism no matter what, and trust me, I know it's not as easy as just saying, yeah, I'm gonna be optimistic in today, even though it started out terribly and I know it yet's to come. The attribute is individualized to you. It is about you and your life expectations. You have to know what relaxes or pushes you enough to get you through the hump and preserve, over the hump and persevere. Personally with me, it starts with 2006 Taylor Swift and tuning out everything and everyone. I want to stress at this point a lot because even though we are all excited to end this chapter and go full speed ahead into the next one, we are going to encounter bad days, but we are going to have good ones like today but we have to slow down, remain optimistic, and enjoy every bit of the experience. The third letter of today stands for determination. Our generation globalized our society through social media and the internet. Because of social media news outlets, we are often told the correct thing is supposed to be, or how to go about doing certain activities, or think, frankly, what is acceptable or not acceptable. But I want to tell you today, in order to craft our own future, you need to make your own decisions and determine who you are as an individual. Remember what Polonius said to Laertes, to thine self be true. Stay true to your values and which will create an unshakable foundation during turbulent times. And you will always have, you have a constant who you can rely on. Surround yourself with the people who hold these same moral values and we will be able to achieve your goals. With determination, you will be able to become the doctor, the lawyer, the farmer, the soldier, the person you, who has been within you the entire time. The person your family and friends have been determined to help you become. 
The fourth letter of today is accountability. In the near future, we are all going to be bombarded with some combination of course requirements, work schedules, extracurricular activities, and a long list of new and fun things to do. This happens to be so-called new freedom as a graduate. You know what I mean? How, how often you have thought or said the past two weeks, I'm 18, I'm graduating from high school, I have a job, I'm going to college, I've enlisted, I'm all grown, I know what I'm doing. The fact is that we've only begun to realize that the latter does not allow us the freedom to start making decisions to whatever that entails. But sometimes we fail to realize we are going to have to be held accountable for those choices. The sooner this is learned, the easier life will be. Additionally, we must also be accountable to others in order to create lifetime relationships. Be accountable to yourself and others because it will always benefit you in the future. Now, I know some of you might have tuned me out by now, and I promise that there are only 30 seconds left. The last letter of today is Y, and it stands for you. Only you have the power to work as a team, not only to achieve your individual goals, but have the goals that you care about. Only you have the ability to remain optimistic in the face of adversity, disappointment, and stress. Only you possess the determination to uphold the values and morals of your, you and your family have instilled within you. Only you can truly hold yourself accountable for your actions. And finally, only you can be true to you. You are unique, intelligent, compassionate, and simply said, you are greatness. So remember, you have to strive to achieve today teamwork, optimism, determination, accountability, and you. Today, to create an amazing tomorrow. I want to thank my parents, Angela and Coach, my, parents, my brother and sister, Celeste and Colton. I love you all. In addition, thank you to my incredible classmates, team members, teachers, coaches, and mentors. Nothing will be possible without you. I'm Abigail Roush, and I will always be a bloodhound. Thank you, congratulations on class of 2018, and good evening to you all. And now, please welcome to the stage, Principal John Hill to address the graduates. It is a spectacular Saturday night in the land of blue and gold, and there is nothing quite like being a bloodhound here at AHS. Give yourselves a hand. We are living the dream with the class of 2018. This is your time. This is your moment. Enjoy it. Take it all in and savor it. This moment and memory will last a lifetime. Dr. Seuss once said, sometimes you will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. On this day, on this field, on this evening, you will secure your place in the history of this great school. From this day forward, you will become part of the Bloodhound Nation, and you will forever be Bloodhounds. Give yourselves a hand. Your president, along with many other members of your class, informed me that I have saved the best for last. Therefore, let me make a few observations about the class of 2018. Individually and collectively, you have met and exceeded expectations. You have become great leaders, role models, and trendsetters. Your achievements, accomplishments on the fields and courts of competition, in the fine and performing arts, in college and career readiness, and in the world of academia, is absolutely remarkable and inspirational. Now, I had a whole list of accomplishments that you had, but your president, Mr. Persichetti, as he has done often, lined that out for me very well and did a tremendous job so we can give, give him a nice round of applause. I mean, you are the class. You are the class that has given uh, Armadale and Polk County over 23,000 hours of community service. Very impressive. $7.4 million in scholarships. 276 out of 350 of you have already have uh, decided and determined your post-graduation uh, opportunities in technical college, colleges and universities. You have your plans set. I'm confident that uh, when it's all said and done, every member 
of this awesome class will have excellent plans for the future. I think it's also noteworthy that 17 of your peers have enlisted to serve in the United States military. Can you stand up, please? Can you stand up quickly, please? Can we give them a nice round of applause? We want to thank you in advance for your service and sacrifice to our country. You have one Millennial Gates Scholar, five Ivy League acceptances, two Military Academy acceptances, and two graduates earning their associate's degree and diploma. In addition, you have left two distinct and memorable features to solidify your legacy at AHS, the Bloodhound Monument, yes, and the brand and logo for Polk County Schools. Now here's what's impressive about you in my opinion. You accomplished all this and more while excelling in school spirit, creativity, compassion, and humility. Let's give the class of 2018 a nice round of applause. In closing, I would like to say to you, the class of 2018, it has been a great honor and privilege to be your principal and to lead you through your journey at AHS. You have defined yourselves with greatness, endeared yourselves to all, inspired and wowed us. And you have earned the respect and love of this faculty and community of the great Arbondale High School. Over the years, I've had 11 outstanding graduating classes. I have immensely enjoyed and loved each one. You are no exception. Class of 2018, I love and appreciate you. I would like to take just a moment to acknowledge a very special person who has supported me 100% during my time as the principal of Arbondale High School. She has given me the opportunity to do what I love most, which is to invest myself in such a wonderful group of students, a wonderful staff, and a tremendous community, the community of AHS. My wife, Charlene, is sitting right over here, up, oh, right over there. Charlene, if you'll stand up. Can we give her a nice round of applause, please? I love you and thank you. Mr. Mr. Wilder had to help me out. I, I wasn't sure which side she was on. You know, you got to have a great staff, right, if you're, if you're going to succeed. And we have the best here at AHS. I will leave you with this. Do your very best each and every day to show dignity and respect to all. Live by the golden rule. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Strive to think right, for if you think right, you will act right. Remember that faith, hope, and love will win the day. And never forget that I and we absolutely, unequivocally, love our house. Bless you, class of 2018. Having, I don't say that. All right, it's been that kind of day. Having fulfilled the graduation requirements of Polk County School Board and the State of Florida, I present you the 93rd graduating class of Arbondale High School, the class of 2018. Tariq Kamani Graham. <laughs> Abigail Rose Roush.
Victor Ross Persichetti. Mason Allen Green. Courtney Catherine Reyes. Haley Danielle Fawner. Morgan Ashley Westrich. Jenica Lewis.
Mobley.
Joshua Nathaniel Castro. Bianca Allegrina. Yeah. Aya Monina Buzihe. Oh, 
Milanesia Alvier. <laughs> Esther Joy Crow. Crystal Nicola Langley. Drew Mitchell Bradley. Bryce Austin Hancock. <laughs> Abigail Louise Bartosowski. Kaylin B. Davis.
Davis John Benitez Gonzalez.
Hamilton. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nathaniel James Thorpe. Claudia Jane Torres. Wyatt Morgan Turlington. Kiana LaShawn Wiggins.
class of 2018, by the authority vested in me by the state of Florida and the Polk County School Board. I pronounce upon those of you who have completed the necessary requirements, graduates of the Polk County School System, and confer upon each of you all the rights and privileges thereto. Congratulations, class of 2018. Class of 2018, you may now move your tassels from right to left. Again, congratulations, Bloodhounds, class of 2018. Thank <laughs> you. 